When the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5.21, prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. Proving that God keeps his word, proving that he can and he will help you in every situation. But when the Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, presenting your bodies, living sacrifices, look after this body. Put it to bed early. Exercise it every day. Drink adequate water. Eat a plant-based diet. Have sunshine every day. Trust in God. Prove that he will stand by his word. That's how you can present your bodies, living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to God. Such a reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world. The way this world eats and drinks, goes to bed late and drinks coffee instead of water. <laughs> be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's the new heart. That's the heart of stone taken away and the heart of flesh. That is a heart transplant every single day. What happens? Who do we prove it to? Let's have a look at this. And we're going to have a look at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, where the Bible says, Wherefore, seeing then that we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Who are these witnesses? These witnesses are our family, the people we live with, our neighbours, our workmates, our church family, people we see once a month. <laughs> Let's go outside the planet to other worlds. The inhabitants of other worlds are watching because the devil says they'll never be able to do it. The angels. Let's come back in now to the body. Let's go to some other witnesses your skin, your hair, your eyes, your teeth, your bones. They're all witnesses. They're all witnesses to the conditions you are giving the body. We're made up of what we eat, of what we drink, of how we sleep. Seeing then that we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And one run with patience the race set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is now sat down at the right hand of the Father. Wherefore consider him, who endured such contradictions against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your mind. For you have not yet resisted under blood, striving against sin. These words are written for our encouragement, not just advice, but for our encouragement. Run that race. And the Bible specifies the race in 1 Corinthians 9, starting at verse 25. Know you not that they that run in a race run all, but only one receives the prize? Therefore so run that you may receive. Every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. He's referring to the Olympic Games, the Greek Games actually. And you know what the prize was? It was a, a wreath woven out of vines that was limping and looking dead within a day. This is why the writer says they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, but not as uncertainly. So fight I, but not as one that beats the air. I keep under my body. I bring it into subjection, if by any means when I have preached to others, I myself might be a castaway. Run the race. I therefore so run, but not as uncertainly. <laughs> 